Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, so I'm so 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 incredibly sorry for the lack of videos and just the sporadicness of videos for the past couple months. This has truly truly been the busiest year of my entire life, no joke. Just plans upon plans upon plans. Everyone I know is getting married this year and I was in multiple weddings and I'm going on a big trip this year and like on top of all that stuff that was already happening, I abruptly moved into a new condo as well. <laughs> Like it was totally not planned. Um, obviously, based on how busy my year was, I was not about to throw moving into a whole new city and a whole new home into the mix. Um, but of course, such is my life this year. <laughs> Why not? Why not just add to the chaos, right? I was super aware all this time in the back of my head that YouTube was lagging behind. So I never ever forgot about my channel and I never forgot about you guys. So if you're still here, Thank you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. You mean so much to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you if you stuck around. And I appreciate you having patience with me so very much. So life is still very busy for the next month or so. But hopefully in the fall when things finally, finally settle down, I'll be able to hit the ground running and just make so many videos for you guys. Um, but that being said, um, I am finally mostly moved into my new apartment and obviously everything is still a work in progress. It hasn't even been a week yet. It's been like three days. I just got off work actually. That's why I look so disheveled and tired. I have a massive migraine right now, just very overwhelmed. My hair looks terrible because it's like hair that I slept on and didn't style or anything like that. So I apologize for my super haggard appearance. Honestly, I couldn't wait any longer. I really just wanted to get a video out for you guys as soon as possible. So the rest of my condo slash apartment, I'll do a proper apartment tour later on when it's more furnished. But I figured at the very least I would show you my bedroom progress thus far as the bedroom is pretty much mostly done. Uh, so I figured we could just start with that as a little taste tester. Now, without further ado you guys, let's get into my new room tour. Alrighty guys, so here is the front door to my brand new bedroom. I absolutely love this uh, molding and also the black doorknobs against the white door. It's giving a very farmhouse vibe, which I love. The door is very creaky, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to give you an overview. Alright, so when you first walk in, you see my beloved vanity. And there is me in the reflection. Hey guys! <laughs> so on here, we just have my gorgeous Dior makeup. I love to display my Dior makeup. And in this drawer, we have perfumes and blushes. And in this drawer, we have highlighters and bronzers. And then in the hidden drawer under here, we have eye makeup, face makeup, and lipsticks, and a mirror that my mom broke. <laughs> and yeah. I can do a more in-depth vanity tour for you guys if you like in another video. And here is just my adorable farmhouse style stool for my vanity. And this thing is truly the love of my life. It brings me so much joy and happiness. Growing up, I could never afford Dior things, and I used to always stare longingly at them when I used to work part-time as a teenager. And uh, yeah, that's why they just mean so much to me, and I display them so proudly now. <laughs> Alright, so beside the vanity is my bed. As you can see, the room is quite tight and small, as it is a one-bedroom condo, and typically the bedroom is quite small. But I don't mind. It's actually super cozy that way, and it fits everything that I need. Um, so this comforter set is by Laura Ashley. I got it at HomeSense, which I believe in the States you guys call it TJ Maxx or TK Maxx or Marshalls or whatever. There's like a million different names, but you get the idea. <laughs> it comes in blue and lilac and all these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I honestly think Laura Ashley bedding and home decor is so slept on. It's such a beautiful dupe for Love Shack Fancy as well, I find. And it also came with these sheets as well, which are super cute. 
And then I just have my two pillowcases on the back that I actually sleep on. The pillowcase is bamboo slash tensile. Um, and then I just have this super old cushion from Ikea and my sweet little jelly cat babies. My headboard is from Amazon. Unfortunately, it's not available anymore as I bought it like four years ago. Um, but yeah, it's tufted with buttons. And then over here, we just have my Hemness night table. Um, all of my furniture in my room is by the Hemness IKEA line, by the way. I absolutely love the look of like vintage inspired off-white wooden furniture with a black knob. Like that's just the prettiest, most timeless look to me personally. So I absolutely love Hemness. And then I just have this super simple IKEA night light thing here, or bedside table light, sorry. And I love that you just pull the little thing on there to turn it on and off. I just have this Chanel and Dior book stacked here and my super ancient Sony alarm clock that I've been using to wake up every single day since I was like 12. Honestly can't live without that thing at this point. And here's an overview from this part of the room. I'm probably going to add some artwork there but I just can't decide on what I want to add. Let me know what you guys think. Spanning over this way, we have my dresser, which is also by the IKEA Hemness line. And then in this corner here, we just have my standing mirror from JISC. And once again, there's me. Hi guys! <laughs> and at the bottom here, I just keep my UGG dupe slippers and these gorgeous Dior boxes. Inside those boxes is more pretty boxes. What I love about this mirror is that when you open it up, it's actually a jewelry storage. So we have all my earrings, rings, necklaces, bracelets, etc. And it keeps them all clean and dust free and away from the sunlight, which I absolutely love. Spanning over this way is just the top of my dresser. We have here my super uh, simple TCL Roku TV. It's kind of old now, but I absolutely love it. It's so light and small. And I just have this little uh, candle holder thing from Ikea that I got on sale. I just keep the remote control in there. And then I have this adorable little dish from Urban Outfitters. It says fragile. <laughs> me um, and I keep my daily jewelry in there for easy access I also like to keep this cute little furry IKEA rug here as well I can do a more in-depth dresser tour in the future but I'll just briefly go through each drawer for now this one is undies this one is bikinis this one is bras this next one is my favorite drawer. It's all my super cute coquette tank tops. So lots of like little baby tees, florals, lace trim, ruffles, just yeah, super adorable. The next one here is thin long sleeve tops, sweaters, and bottoms. And lastly, we just have more bottoms that I actually need to sort this one, sorry. And then there's just my gorgeous, gorgeous window. I'm not going to show you the whole thing for privacy reasons, but I'll just show you uh, my little lawn chair recliner I have out there. So cozy! I've always wanted a bedroom that had like double window doors that led to a balcony. It just, it's just giving such a romantic Romeo and Juliet vibe or something. <laughs> All right, and now for my absolute favorite part of this new bedroom. Are you ready, guys? I don't even think you're ready for this. Little me is just like so happy right now. Oh, a gorgeous walk-in closet. It's the first time in my whole life I've ever had a walk-in closet. And oh my goodness, guys, 
it does not disappoint. I truly think every girl or every person just deserves this in their life. I can't even tell you how much I actually look forward to getting dressed in the morning. In the past, everything was just so haphazard. I always associate closets with being like stuffed to the brim. I've never had one so airy and functional and organized like this. One that you can actually walk into and go shopping and be like, what do I feel like wearing today? Like, it's truly amazing. Anyways. I'm gonna do a more in-depth closet tour uh, later on when it's more clean. Here's like the rough version for now. So starting at the top, I just have throw blankets, bedding, uh, throw pillows and cushions, sheets and pillowcases. So just like bedding stuff. And then hung here is all of my dresses, spring, summer, and fall. Down here is more bedding. Down here is just gifting stuff, so like ribbons, cards, uh, gift bags, tissue paper, etc. And then hung back here, I just have miscellaneous items like backpack, belts, etc. On the top shelf there is just beautiful packaging. They're literally pretty much all empty. I just keep them because they're so aesthetically pleasing. And because I have the luxury of having the space to display things like that in here. And then, oh, my favorite part, my bag wall. Check this out. Oh my goodness. So, so, so satisfying. I've never, ever, ever been able to look in my closet and actually display my bags in such a way. So as a bag lover, this is truly what dreams are made of. Like, I, I cannot even tell you how excited I am about this. So here are my Mimi bags, YSL, Chanel. A lot of these are dupes, by the way. A lot of them are also real too. <laughs> See if you can guess which are which. Um, then down here is makeup bags, pouches, like in-purse organizing items. Here we have evening bags and clutches. And then of course my Kate Spade heart bag. Here we have all of my Chloe bags, which are mostly all authentic. And then we have my Chanel bags and Gucci bags. Over here is Coach and Michael Kors. And then just more contemporary bags like Juicy Couture, Kate Spade, Lululemon, etc. And then down here we have my shoe collection, which is kind of dark in here. I will show you a more in-depth video of my closet when it's all done, as I said. On this side we have hoodies and cardigans. And then up here, we just have all my seasonal winter clothing, which will probably make its way down in the next couple months. So yeah, guys, that is it for my brand new bedroom in my brand new condo. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments down below which parts of my room are your favorite. And if you have any recommendations of any artwork I can place above my bed, or just any recommendations in general on how I can make the space even nicer. Thank you so very much for watching, guys, and look forward to tons and tons more home decor content coming soon. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye!